A deadline for Greece to pay back a $2 billion loan has just passed and no payment was made. A flurry of last-minute talks failed to produce another bailout. And as Stuart Greer reports, it'll be up to the people of Greece to decide whether they forge a new path. As the clock ticked down to the midnight deadline, thousands rallied outside the Greek parliament to show their support for the European Union and keeping the euro. I'm just here to make sure that we're in Europe from now on. They're urging people to vote yes in Sunday's referendum and want Greece to accept creditors' demands of tax hikes and pension cuts in exchange for a new rescue package. But if it's a yes result, the country's Prime Minister, Alexis Tsipras, said he would resign rather than impose more austerity. His finance minister instead was scrambling to make a last-ditch proposal for a new 29 billion euro bailout deal so the country could pay off its huge debts. Remain hopeful. But without getting 1.6 billion euros in cash, Greece was set to become the first developed nation not to repay a loan to the IMF. As the country inches closer to being kicked out of the Eurozone, tempers flared at the long ATM lineups. For a second day, cash withdrawals were limited to 60 euros, and Greeks mulled over the possibility of returning to the drachma. It doesn't matter what currency you use, says this man. What matters is that you have money to survive. If investors were nervous, they weren't showing it. After falling Monday, world markets were back up, seemingly braced for a default as were European banks, which in the last years have insulated themselves from Greek debt. So in that sense, um, any shocks that arise from uh, a Greek default, um, if and when that occurs, uh, will not necessarily be transmitted uh, through the banking system. It was also a sea of calm at holiday destinations like the Greek island of Corfu. Tourists brought in extra cash and foreign credit cards were being accepted, meaning it was business as usual. Uh, but the fact that the, the, the British people bring in more cash with them, they have more cash to spend it. And even our tips have gone up by 40% this month. But rougher waters lie ahead if bailout talks break down again. Greece faces another debt deadline at the end of July, when it must pay back 3.5 billion euros to the European Central Bank. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.